the Cuban people struggled for decades to win their independence from Spain. It began with an uprising in the late 1860s. That war lasted a decade before a second small conflict hit the island. Spain put down the rebellion and a truce held up for nearly 10 years. During that period of peace, American investments began spilling into the island, creating an economic alliance between the two. But the fight for independence wasn't over. In 1895, revolution again struck Cuba. The rebels couldn't hold their ground, and soon after, the Spaniards initiated a campaign of suppression on the island. Hundreds of thousands of Cubans died from starvation and disease. Soon, newspapers in the States criticized the atrocities executed by Spain and Cuba, garnering support for the small island. In January 1898, Washington sent a battleship, the USS Maine, to Havana to protect Americans on the island. Its visit, intended to be friendly, ended horribly. On the night of February 15, 1898, an explosion on the battleship Maine killed 260 officers on board. The following month, the Naval Court announced it was a mine that struck the ship, but didn't place blame, though much of Congress and other Americans looked at Spain. By April, the U.S. agreed to help Cuba liberate, demanding the Spanish withdraw from the island. Instead, Spain declared war on the states, and Congress declared the same, launching the Spanish-American War in 1898, which was also the climax of Cuba's war for independence. America defeated Spain within three months. The fight ended in August, and on December 12, 1898, the Treaty of Paris was signed, officially ending the war, and Cuba was now a free country. Nearly a century later, however, new findings suggested the Spanish-American War was initiated on faulty grounds. In 1976, naval investigators concluded that the explosion that tore apart the USS Maine on February 15, 1898, wasn't caused by a mine or any act of sabotage. Instead, a fire that erupted inside the ship.